Welcome everyone. I'm deep in the heart of Texas. He's in the heart of Texas. Right here on this barren road in the middle of nowhere. Thoroughly protected by border patrol. I'm not even kidding. I was stopped many times in the last couple days. Border patrol everywhere out here. At the former filming locations of John Wayne's 1960 classic, The Alamo. Yeah! Later it was converted into a roadside attraction and then closed in 2010. What's left of it? I'm gonna go check it out. Join me, shall you? The entryway has these doors, now 54 years old. The original doors from the John Wayne film, just sitting here. These exact stairs played a key scene in the film. You would think after all these years the stairs would be gone, but they're not. They're still here, just like these walls and this courtyard. Filming history right here in the desert. And of course, there's this. This was the spot of John Wayne's death scene in the film. To the left of the front door, a bayonet to the chest. It blows my mind that a place like this still exists, now unseen by public eye, closed to the world. Movie history in Texas. This is the courtyard area behind the main wall, known as the cross, as seen in this photo here. I almost feel like I'm at the real Alamo, only it's not. It's a reproduction, but the sense you get inside these walls is pretty amazing. Very hard to describe. Awesome.
In the film Barbarossa, starring Willie Nelson, this dark room was used, also as Mrs. Dickinson's room in the Alamo. This backside of the Alamo set was used in the Drew Barrymore Western, Bad Girls. Pretty cool. Down the hill lies an exact reproduction of old San Antonio, the old Alamo Village roadside attraction, now closed. Let's go down there and see what remains. In the 1967 movie Bandolero, Jimmy Stewart was to be hung in this courtyard before escaping.
this bank has been used in countless TV shows, commercials, and feature films. I don't know why there's a deer head now, but I'm not asking any questions. This is still very cool. I wonder how much money's in there. This area full of carts, wagons, and stagecoaches were all used in all the movies filmed out here, including other movies that were not filmed on property. These were rented out by movie studios and movie makers all over the world. Thanks for watching everyone. I really hope I did this wonderful place justice through my video. In my opinion, no amount of photographs or video clips that I've edited together can really sum up the feelings I had checking this place out on this day. So many wonderful TV shows and movies filmed here on this location. And of course later, the roadside attraction it became. So let's not forget, in fact, let's always Remember the Alamo. One last thank you as well. Please disregard the wanted poster he's mounted on. Without him, this video would not have been possible. Thanks so much, Richard.